In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the ice dispenser auger motor in your Whirlpool refrigerator. If your fridge dispenses water but does not dispense ice and you do not hear the motor turning, you may have a bad auger motor. If you need to buy an auger motor, check out our website, partsdoctor.com, where we sell parts for all major appliance brands. For this repair, unplug or disconnect power to the refrigerator. To gain access, we need to remove the ice bin. To remove the ice bin, open the ice bucket cover by pressing the locking tab up, then insert your fingers into the opening, pull the latch towards you, and lift up. Using a Phillips screwdriver, remove these four screws holding the ice chute plate in place. Now, remove the plate by pulling on the two prongs. This may require some force. Next, using a quarter inch nut driver, remove these four screws holding the auger motor in place. Then lift the motor out, being careful as it's still connected by wires. Now disconnect the electrical connector by depressing the locking tab and pulling. This may be difficult. Next, remove the ice maker shaft by simply pulling on it to separate it from the motor. When shopping for a new auger motor, be sure you're searching with the model number from the tag in your appliance to make sure you get the correct part. The auger motor does not include the ice maker shaft, so you'll need to transfer it from the original or order a new one if needed. If the auger motor and drive shaft are rusty, this may mean you have a bad gasket on the bottom of the chute plate, which is allowing moisture to enter the motor compartment. If you need to replace the gasket, you can check out our other video that shows how. Install the auger motor by reconnecting the electrical connector, set into the opening, and reinstalling the four screws. To install the ice maker shaft into the auger motor, simply align and set in place. Install the chute plate by aligning and reinstalling the screws. Next, install the ice bin by opening the cover, aligning the bin in the opening, and setting in place. It will make an audible click when locked back in place. And that's it for this video. If you learned something new, hit that like button. And if you want to see more videos like this and these, please consider subscribing.